3D FX Glide launches on Linux with support for modern GPUs. The developer has implemented the 3D FX Glide application programming interface in the Mesa Gallium 3D driver stack for modern GPUs. The implementation allows users to play old games on modern hardware. Bower Onyx reported that LinkMov, an independent amateur developer, created Grover, a front-end implementation of the Glide API for Mesa apostrophe Scallium 3D using the Rust programming language. The Mesa Gallium 3D driver stack includes open-source drivers for modern AMD Radeon and Intel Gen Ors hardware, which essentially means that it will be possible to play older Glide-based games on modern GPUs. However, there are some caveats. Since Glide was usually used for Windows games, and the developer did not have access to any Glide-based game for Linux, he used code samples and a 1997 Pandemonium game to test his implementation. For the same reason, it was not able to implement a windowing system, which is an important feature, since it is unlikely that anyone will want to run a game from the late 1990s on a large modern display in full screen mode. Given the limited testing, Linkmove believes that work on Grover is not yet complete. Since most Glide games were developed for Windows, playing them on Linux requires using Grover at the Wine, Protan compatibility level, which has its advantages. When it comes to playing older Windows video games that don't work on modern PCs, it's possible to build a system using legacy components with drivers for Windows 2000 or Windows XP. Finding properly working GeForce or Radeon graphics cards from the early 2000s is difficult, but getting a 3D FX Voodoo board for games that use exclusively the proprietary Glide API, for example, Unreal, Unreal Tournament, from the late 1990s is much more difficult. Given all the complexities and costs associated with acquiring old hardware and getting it up and running, various Linux simulations look like a viable option. However, if you want to get the same experience as the games of the late 1990s, and therefore have an unforgettable experience, nothing beats buying an outdated video card and auxiliary equipment for a monitor with a 4 to 3 aspect ratio.